Cold emailing and cold calling is, to my knowledge, how most pre-meds get their shadowing opportunities. If you go to an undergrad where it's affiliated with a university hospital, your best bet is probably to find something affiliated with that university hospital, either a program specific to that university hospital in your undergrad, but if something like that is not available, I would look into medical school faculty that you could potentially cold email. How do you find their emails? Sometimes you can find their emails through papers that they've published, or sometimes there's some kind of internal database that you have access to as an undergrad that is somewhat affiliated with the university hospital. However, through my experiences of mentoring pre-meds at my own institution, I found that a lot of these big university hospitals actually have a ton of rules regarding who can shadow, how they can shadow, all the paperwork you need to get done before you shadow. So that's kind of why I also mentioned see if you can find a program because there may be a lot of barriers if you just try reaching out to faculty. The other avenue, obviously, is to cold call or cold email private clinics. I do think the success rate would vary a little bit, and also you have to be pretty crafty to figure out how to contact a specific physician. I've heard of students just straight up calling the clinic front desk, but again, your success rate really could vary with that. The thing with cold calling or cold emailing is that some places or some physicians are really, really open to letting students shadow. Some are quite against it, but it's kind of impossible to know this information until you've gotten the response. Needless to say, in my opinion, if you choose to cold call or cold email, it is more like a numbers game. So you just have to keep going until someone says yes to you and someone will say yes to you. It just might take a while. So yeah, my tip is really to not get discouraged if you don't find success right away. It may just take a while. And down in the description box, I will leave some cold calling and cold emailing templates for you to consider and look at and adapt for your own needs if that's helpful to you.